Take a deep breath in and out. And again, in and out. I've had a lot of brain information. So just let your mind relax. Let your body relax. Let your breathing drop down into your body. And know that one of the gifts of these channelings is the healing energy that comes with them. The message is one thing, a very beautiful thing. But the healing energy that is already in the room and that comes through with the message is for you. So breathing into your heart, let yourself receive in your heart exactly what it is that the energy and the message has for you today. There is always the message of love, and there is always the honoring of the human. But with that comes the healing that the entourage brings to the room, brings to the family that is here with us today. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. My partner sits in the chair and everything changes. And it does. There are always those who are here for the first time who see it and question it. Is it possible for a human to shift this quickly. And the answer, of course, is yes. This is the teaching of what the new energy brings you. Not just in my, my own channel partner, but every single one of you. I want to review a little bit if you haven't heard it before, a conciseness of who you are. Sitting in front of me are old souls, even the ones who have been brought here, not wanting to be here, are old souls. An old soul is defined as a soul that has lived on this planet for centuries, who has had lifetime after lifetime for centuries, who has responded to the energy of this shift that took place a few years ago. That is an old soul. And many times the response is not necessarily one that would bring you to the chair. It would be a change. And you find yourself in the chair, not because you're interested in the change, but because you want to know about it, but you're interested in what happened. Why now? What is the future? The planet sits here without a prophecy for the first time in human history. There have always been those who would profit and prophesize and profit from prophesizing <laughs> but not now not in a worldwide situation just a few years ago you had all kinds of prophets giving you all kinds of information and some of it was actually positive but most of it was not the end of the world was coming. You've had that prophecy for 
literally hundreds of years. The target date that was known, for it was the end or middle point of the procession of the equinoxes. That is the beginning and the end of the 26,000 year wobble that the earth has. Which just happens to correspond basically with humanity. And that was going to be the end. And you heard it from many. Modern scriptures had it. The ancients seemed to have it. But they didn't. The ancients told a different story. It would be the end of humanity if you did what you'd done before. And that is to terminate yourselves yet again. But you didn't. At the last moment, you pulled it out. Meaning that you changed it. And here you are. Past 2012 with no prophecy. Because the old ones did not happen, the only thing that you can do is look at what else the ancients said. For all of your modern prophecies, even and including some of the modern day channelers, don't know what's going to happen. But the ancients, they do. For thousands of years, they knew. If you take a look at just one of the prophecies, just one, that's the Maya. Why was their calendar over 5,000 years old called the Long Count? It had to do with human consciousness. If you go back 5,000 years, it is the beginning of some of the ancient civilizations you have in the East, in the Middle East. It's almost like the last segment of civilization. And their calendar went to the end. And it stopped. And everyone thought that would be the end. Not reading the calendar. For what it said was this, that if you passed the procession, a new calendar would be needed. And it's there. A calendar that would represent perhaps the highest consciousness the earth had ever seen because humanity was about to grow up. This is the prophecy, the only prophecy that you currently have which is accurate and believable because all of the others simply fell over on the floor. Are there others to look at? Indeed. The ones indigenous in this very country, the Lakota, the Hopi. They didn't know each other so far apart, and yet they had the same prophecy. The procession of the equinoxes would create choices. Major influences would start moving on the planet. The actual kundalini of the planet would start to change. That is a metaphor, literally. The balance between the masculine and the feminine. It's everywhere if you look at the ancients. There are those who feel lost because you're in a new energy that is different. You don't understand it. Things may have happened. You don't know why. All of these things are what we teach. One by one, we itemize them. You are sitting in a time that does have a prophecy, dear ones. You're just going to have to look at the ancients for it. Eventually, there will be shamanic energies that will come and tell you what's next. But you just started. You might say you were just birthed into this new energy as a babe. Learning your way around it, old soul. Listen to me. All you have known is the old energy. That's all you've known. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, and in comes this energy. And some of you are befuddled. You don't understand it. It's not what you've had in the past. You wait for it to return. It's not going to return. The energy will not return. It was. And then you look around and say, who is it? 
that I can listen to? Who is it I can follow? And I'll tell you, you're going to follow the greatest master that ever lived, and that is you. Old soul, inside you is the creative source, the God of gods. Inside you is the shaman that you will be in this new age for yourself. Inside of you is fresh and new intuition. Inside of you is knowledge of what to do, which way to turn, where to go. If you'll take it. If you will assume it. If you will cognize it, meaning if you believe it. That's where the prophecy is. And if you want to take a look at the ancient prophecy, it's in general. It's not specific. It'll say that humanity will start to improve itself, rebooting itself, lifting itself up from the ground. That in the reboot, it will redefine dark and light, redefine what it wants for itself. It will redefine country with country. Business with business, human with human. And they all will take on different attributes than they ever have before. And the end result will be a humanity that which starts to grow up. And in the process, stops killing itself on a regular basis. You're in the first four years of it. Four years. If you feel befuddled, if you feel that you don't only truly understand what's going on, you're not alone. And that's why I'm here. I exist with my partner in this time in his life in order to tell you what is going on. To tell you that you are made of compassion and love and that these things will start to occur to you in a profound way. Some of you are having trouble with your dreams, I know it's here. And out is starting to pop some uncomfortable things that come from you know where. Who you used to be, not only in this life, but in a past life. Things that you have to open up and examine and point at them and say you don't belong here anymore. Did you know you have that power? You see an energy, dear one, that's inappropriate for you, you point at it, look at it and say you don't belong here anymore. The things that you would run from because you're afraid, I want you to turn around and point at them and say you don't belong here. It's not commensurate with my magnificence. And it will run away because you are now in charge, O oh, light being. And that's the difference. I'm here to tell you that. And there'll come a day when you don't need to be told because it's going to be second nature to you and the ones who come and you in a different life. These are the major changes of this planet at the moment, not what you see in your media. It is the consciousness shift of the individual starting with the old soul. That's who you are. That's who sits in front of me. Even if you deny it, dear ones, I am here to tell you your magnificence will shine through no matter what you think of yourself. And there are those of you who say, I'm too old. Here's what's going on in my life. I can't accomplish this or I can't accomplish that. I'll tell you, every single one of you can generate compassion and light. Every one of you. In ways that you haven't even thought of. We've asked you to light the major match, which will then catch fire, meaning light other matches, a metaphor for lighting a dark room called the planet Earth. We'll be more specific and tonight I want to give you some rules of walking in the light. Coming out of a dark place into a light place, you don't just put on your sunglasses. 
There are things you need to know. There are steps you need to take. There are habits that you need to examine in order to purify who you are, old soul. So you can walk forward without the burden of fear and worry. That's who you are. That's who we see you are. It is perhaps the most powerful thing we can tell you. There are changes coming. And over a period of time, you'll start to see some amazing things happen. I'll tell you more later. And so it is.